Hello, and welcome to Tech Bytes. My name is David Teague, Technical Marketing Engineer at Nutanix. And today we're going to show you how you can use Ansible with Nutanix Move migration plans to initiate cutovers for VMs that you're migrating from one platform onto Nutanix AHV. So let's get started. In the Move interface, you can see I have two migration plans set up. The VMs in both plans are ready for cutover. And I'm going to use Ansible to test the VMs and then do a cutover. Let's look at the playbook I created for this process. I created a role for Move to do these operations using the Nutanix VM provisioner role on Ansible Galaxy as the starting point. So let's look at the contents of the role. In the defaults folder of the role, you will find the main YAML file. You will need to put the IP address, username, and password for your Move appliance. You do not need to change anything else. You can put the variables from the playbook you will see shortly in here if you like. If we go into the task folder of the role and choose the main YAML file there, you can see the tasks that will run as part of this role. I hope to expand this role to do more move operations in the future. In the playbook YAML file, which I called perform cutover, you need to supply the name of the VM you want to work with, the plan that the VMs contained it, and the action you want to perform. If we open up the move interface, we can verify the plan name and VM name that I've set in the playbook are correct. This migration plan will move a VM from ESXi to Nutanix AHV. Now let's run the playbook. I set the action for the playbook to perform as test. However, this failed because the VM is not ready for a test action. This can happen for two reasons. The VM is not ready for cutover, or there is no test network set up. We know the VM is ready for cutover, so if we go back to the move interface, and if we click on the plan name, we can see that the VM does not have a test network set up under network mapping. If we open the other migration plan that has been set up in Move, you can see that it has a test network set up under network matching, so that plan will be able to test any VMs that are part of the plan. Let's modify the playbook and set the action as cutover and run it again. As you can see, the playbook completed successfully. If we hop over to the Move interface, we can see that the migration is in progress. You will know this is complete when the View Target VM shows up in the details. You can click on the View Target VM to open the prism element on the cluster the VM is running on to see if it is working correctly. Now that this migration is complete on this VM, let's do a test migration with the AWS to AHV migration plan. Let's open up that migration plan so we can get the plan name and the VM name so that we can make the changes to our Ansible playbook file to run the test. Back over on the Ansible playbook, I will change the variables of the VM name, the plan name, and the action, and then save it. With the changes saved, I'm going to run the playbook. When the playbook completes successfully, I'm going to open up the Move interface, and you will see that the test VM is being created. I'm going to jump to the AWS console. As you can see, the VM is up and running, as the test does not impact the source VM in any way. With the release of Move 3.7, we have changed the way we are doing migrations, and no longer need to create an agent VM in your AWS environment for migrations. Instead, we are using the Elastic Block Storage APIs for snapshots. This drastically reduces the time it takes to migrate VMs out of AWS. The process of completing the test VM will be complete when you see the View Test VM option show up under the migration status. From here, you can use this VM to test and make sure the migration was successful. When you're ready to do the cutover, and since we are working with the same plan and VM, we will just need to change the action in the playbook and save it. The cutover will automatically delete the test VM that was created earlier. Let's run that playbook one last time we can watch the process and move, and if we check the AWS console, we will see that the VM is being shut down. If we check the move GUI, we will know the migration is complete when we see the view target VM is showing under details. Once that shows up, we can click on that link and open the prison element to check on the status of the VM. As shown here, the VM has been migrated successfully. So that's how you can use Ansible to control your migration plans. This is a great solution if you need to migrate a VM in the middle of the night and would like to automate that cutover step. Look for the Sansible role up on the Nutanix.dev site soon. Thank you for watching.